Hey guys, I see here. Todd, how dare you? Huh? Interrupting my intro and everything. What you guys saying? Gary, good evening. It's me, Todd. Got a minute? Wanna battle? No, I don't. You're sending me back to Jodo. Why does everyone want to send me back to Jodo? Anyway, I see here with some more Kanto Chronicles. In the last episode, we uh, talked to Bill's grandfather and got a tip about a machine part in Cerulean Gem. Let's go in there. Dun, 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 do, 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 Let's go in. Let's enter. And why are we in here? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I think it's somewhere around here. I don't remember. I think it's in this area. Let's see. It's right here. And we found the machine part. Well, that machine part, as you can remember from last episode, belongs to the guy at the power plant. So let's. Can I. Can't I fly to the power plant? No, I cannot fly to the power plant. This power plant is actually above Cerulean City. Let me go ahead and heal, by the way, because I am going to need to heal. Autumn is faded, and, well, we don't need that now, do we? Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, saw my Pokemon. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put Autumn. I'm going to take the, um, yeah, I'll leave the, um, pack there. I'm going to... I'm gonna leave the XP share with SMM for a minute. Go ahead and put the put Autumn up front, as opposed to having like um like Kristen up there. Kristen's already level 45, 40, 43 or 45, 43. So she's fine. Right, but now let's get up here to the power plant, which is our next stop on our journey to be the very best of all the Johto, Encanto, and Sinnoh. Wait. We're not at Sinnoh yet. Oh, well. I think there's... Is there, an I there is an item over here, isn't there? Did I get that last episode? I don't remember. Let me see. Uh, nah, 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 no, there's nothing here. Okay. Had to make sure... What? Oh, uh okay, then. Oh, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pest! You heard me right, pest! Dot dot dot! Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto Gem badges? You have eight, you must be good. Okay then, come to Cerulean Gem. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. I... Uh, uh, well, I wasn't going after Misty yet, but there you go. There's where Misty is. Misty's sitting around here in front of Bill's house. Alright, anyway, that's not where I wanted to go. What I, where, where I wanted to go was not here. In fact, it was the opposite of here. The opposite of here being over here somewhere. Did I already check this bush? I don't remember. Yeah, I must already check that bush. Okay. Do, 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 do. Gotta go down that nugget bridge. Okay, down the bridge we go. We can go in the gym now if you want to. But right now is not the time we want to go in the gym. I'm going to go ahead and cut down this tree. This is where I needed to go. <laughs> My bad. As I mentioned, I haven't played silver in forever. Now I'm trying to get some silver episodes going for y'all. This is Route 9. It's a really city to Rock Tail. Now we're going the right direction. Okay. Yeah, it just feels good to finally have some more silver put up. Um, after about a month's wait, trying to get some co-commentary and having bad internet and stuff. But no matter. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and surf. Down the rock top. Wow, already ran into a gold ain't. Alright, that's fine. Let's see, SMM grew level 23, he's trying to learn, trying to learn stomp. Let's see what I got. I got bubble, whirlpool, vice grip, and surf. I don't know, he's got too many, um... Oh, Whirlpool's an HM move. I forgot. I must say, he's got too many, um, water type moves. I don't know. I don't really know because I don't use SMM that much. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of Bubble. Nah, yeah, Bubble. And we'll keep Stomp for right now. And I think Stomp has more HP, and I think it gives you a flinch chance. Or a chance for flinching. I don't remember off the top of my head, but. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the. Let's see what we got about eradicate. All right, we'll go ahead and absorb. 
absorb some more, get my health back. And, oh, come on, really? Look at that little itty bitty bit of HP. How much HP does Autumn even need? XP, rather. Does Autumn even need to level up? Needs 30. 30. Come on. I can go back and battle something small like a Pidgey or something. Alright, what you gotta say, bro? Hey, yo. Thanks for. Yes! You've already asked for my cooperation. Didn't you give me a choice last time? This power plant had been abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide map power to the mag train. Okay. Now it's you. And my math part that's central for the. Oh, wait, why am I talking to y'all again? I already talked to y'all last episode. I guess it's to kill time. I don't know. This might be a short episode. I don't quite know yet. Anyway, let's go and talk to you. Ah, oh, yeah! That's the missing part for my beloved generator! Found it? Wahaha, thanks! Here, take this TM as a reward. And we get TM7, which is Zap Cannon. How do I know it was Zap Cannon? Because he said it was Zap Cannon before. Anyway, let's put TM in the TM pocket. TM7 is my Zap Cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. And Zap Cannon, I believe, also, um, inflicts automatic paralysis. So, yeah. It's basically the, um, electric version of Dynamic Punch. Anyway, we're gonna go take a quick trip back to Johto. Why? Because now that we got the Magnet Train running, we can go back to Johto if we please. And I feel like I forgot something in Johto, so that's Silk Company. But yeah, yeah, the, uh, no, it was Celadon City. Was it Celadon City or was it, um, Saffron City that the train goes through? I think it goes through Saffron. That's the gym. Alright. And, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, because you gotta go to Mount Silver for that guy, I believe. No, it's... Is it this village? Saffron City? Yeah, Saffron City. Okay. Let's go ahead and enter. Alright, hi-yo. We'll soon put right for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? Yes. Sorry. Oh, sorry, but you don't have a pass. Oh, whoops. We kind of need a pass first, so we're back in Saffron for that. <laughs> and I know exactly where we need to go. We need to go to the... Not here. We need to go to the opposite of here. The opposite of here being there. Um. Here. Saffron City Magnet Train Station. That's the Magnet Train Station. That's the, uh... That's the exit, the Saffron City. We gotta go, I think it's down here, actually. We gotta go back to Copycat's house. And talk to Copycat again. Alright, Copycat, what you gotta say? Hi, yo. Hi, I heard that you lost your favorite Poké Doll. Huh, you did? If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass, question mark. I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do, but I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Well, you're too late, copycat. Somebody's already found it. You wanna know who? I know exactly who. Let's go down here and get to... Where should say again? That's right! Vermilion City! Where we started our Kanto adventure. <laughs> and for this, we actually have to go, I think, next door. No, it wasn't here. And the fishing guru, the elder of the fishing brothers. Do you happen to know Fisherman Wilton? He fishes on Route 44. He came through with an amazing tip on the phone. Thanks to him, I got a whole lot of rare Pokemon. What a day it was. Oh yeah, by the way, he tells you... I mean, Fisherman Wilton tells you that, um... About... I think it's Dunspar... Is it Dunsparce, I think? I don't remember off the top of my head. This is what I don't remember. I'm sorry, I've just been horribly forgetful. Anyway, here's where we need to go. The Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans, welcome. Alright, walk up here... Go ahead and talk to the chairman. I'm the chairman of Pokemon Fan Club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. So he's taken a 50 Pokemon increase since, uh, since, um, red, blue, and yellow. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? You want to say... I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Good, then listen up. So, my favorite Rapidash. Oh boy, here we go. It. Cute. Lovely. Smart. Unbearably. Plus. Amazing. Oh, you think so? Too much. Wild. Beautiful. Kindly. Love it. Hug it. When sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Oh, and spectacular. 
Ravishing. Simply divine. Oops, look at the time. I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And he gives you a rare candy for hearing his story. I don't know why, how I didn't get that in the first episode. It's a rare candy that makes Pokemon stronger. I prefer making my Pokemon stronger by battling, so you can have it. Well, I prefer that too. Now I gotta talk to him again, because I think I did something wrong. Hello, Gary. Did you come see me about my Pokemon again? No? Oh, I had more stories to tell. Uh, oh, is it this guy? Actually, yeah, that, the chairman gives you a rare candy. I think this guy can actually gives you the doll. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one. So I'm making do with a Poke doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this Poke doll is sad. Okay, could you take this Poke doll back to that poor little girl? I'll be friend of real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. And we get the Poke doll. Yay! And they somehow changed the name to Lost Item. Okay. Ah, you gotta love how they just randomly changed the name to Lost Item. Oops. I'm gonna go to my pack. Um. Alright, key items. It's in the key items. And according to this, it's the Poke Doll lost by the copycat. So, what we're gonna do is we wanna head back down to. 2 2 2 2 2 2. We wanna head back down to Saffron. And give her the doll. Okay, so her house is upwards at the Pokemon Center, I believe. That's further high. Further high. Further high. Higher up. This house right here. Go ahead and go back to her, her, her house, her room. Give her the doll. Yay! That's my Clefairy Poke Doll. See the tear where the right leg is sewn on? That's proof. Okay, here's the magnet train pass, like I promised. And we, that's how we got our magnet train pass. And we can put the pass in the bucket. That's the pass for the magnet train. The rail company man gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. How dare they? They like, couldn't they just move out and not have the house torn down or something, make it a historical landmark? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take the magnet train. I know this episode's dragging on a little bit. But, I'm gonna go ahead and take the magnet train. Since now we have a pass and the power is running, we're gonna go back to, uh... We're gonna go back to, uh... Johto, just for a moment. And I think there is something I forgot. I feel like I forgot something in Johto. But yeah, see? Now we actually have access between Johto and Kanto. We have arrived in Goldenrod. We hope to see you again. Alright, I think there's something I forgot here in, um, Johto. Is that Madame Black really a member of Team Rocket? I can't believe it. But yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and just walk around Goldenrod a little bit. I have some feeling I forgot. Oh, your Pokey works as a radio. Yeah, I kind of forgot something. I have this feeling I forgot something somewhere. I love Pokemon. Ah, you know this. Why do I talk to these people sometimes? I do not know. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Oh, yeah. And also, you can actually run into... I didn't bring this up when I actually met them, but you can run into the legendaries at random now. I think Suicune being the only exe uh, uh, exception to the rule. But, yeah. I have this weird feeling I forgot something. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go around Kanto a little, Johto a little. Hey, 41. All right. I think I can battle you. Yeah. Danger lurks in the night. I'm Batman. <laughs> well, he looks like Batman. Anyway, say hello to Officer Dirk, and he's gonna battle us with a Growlithe. Woof. And I am so by I am so worried about type advantage here. No, I'm not. Because I am level 41. I am unstoppable. He's got another Growlithe. Yeah, usually the uh, police officers have uh, Growlithe and stuff. Maybe Hound out every once in a while. Whoops. Yeah, whoops. You just got beat. You know, nighttime is fun in its own ways. Don't overdo it, okay? Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually go back to Kanto. Because we got a gem later episode next. Uh, we got gem leader next episode, and I don't want to end up wasting too much time in Kanto. Or Johto, excuse me. So 
So let's go ahead and get back on the train. Dig, dig, dig. All you know is the magnet train is finally running now. We're soon to park Saffron. Are you coming aboard? Yes, Massey Rail Pass. Okay, right this way, sir. And there you go. We are heading back to Kanto, where we'll continue on our story in the next episode. Anyway, make sure to sub to the show to keep updated. And we have arrived in Saffron. We hope to see you again. And make sure to sub to the people in my box and stuff like that. Till next time, everybody. Hedgy out. Jim Leader.